We'd like to have a rotational system, and a lot of it will depend on, you know, the depth that we have and what happens when our starting four are off the field. But uh, ideally, uh, we'd like to be able to have a rotation system so we can have fresh guys on the field, especially in those situations where you want to rush the passer. Well, we're implementing a 4-3 scheme, and the guys have really bought into that, and that's what we're practicing, and that's what we're looking forward to. That's what Sean is most familiar with uh, in his experience in Carolina and our experience together uh, in Philadelphia, and that's what we brought to Buffalo as well, uh, what we're both most comfortable with, and we think it fits our players well. Yeah, we, we hope so. I mean, you got three backers on the field, and uh, we hope that you know we'll try to mesh the right three at, in, in our 4-3 scheme, and. Uh, maybe that'll be Lorenzo and Preston together, or maybe it'll be a different configuration. But uh, you always want to get your 11 best on the field. And, uh, you know, I, I'm believing that those guys will be a part of our best 11. Uh, you know, we spent a lot of work you know, prior to the draft just getting familiar with him, uh, both as a player and as a person. And uh, he hasn't disappointed uh, once he's gotten into our building. Uh, he's an outstanding young man. Uh, and a very, very good football player. And obviously, we feel that way drafting him with the, our first pick in 2017. So uh, we're very pleased that he's a part of our team. Well, Micah had a, a very good career in, in Green Bay. You know, he had a ton of ball production. Uh, so to add him uh, to our roster is a big coup for us. Uh, we think he has a chance to uh, really make a difference as far as taking the ball away. and. And then I'm sure Danny will talk about this when uh, he gets to special teams, his punt return ability as well. So he's a versatile guy in the secondary. You know, he can tackle, but he can cover uh, good tight ends, good running backs. Uh, you know, he's just a very versatile player who has provided great production with the ball. So uh, that was a big get for us this offseason. In the short time we've been here and having a chance to go back and look at some of his tape, um, you know, he's an impressive football player for sure. And, and what we've been doing this off season, he's really bought into everything we were asking him to do. Uh, he's been uh, attending every uh, every meeting, every practice. I think he's only missed maybe once if that. Uh, he's been terrific in what we've asked him to do. And uh, this time of the year, um, you're limited in some things that you can do, as we talked about a moment ago. But uh, for what we've asked Marcel to do, he's been, been terrific. Um, we're going to try him at both. Uh, and we're going to try to make the determination over time. Uh, we're going to take a look at him uh, in the OTAs, at both inside and outside, and just you know make a determination as we go forward. And we'll do the same thing once we get to training camp. Uh, you know, we've talked to our guys about the depth chart this time of the year is very fluid. You know, you don't get caught up in the depth chart. We want to be able to take a look at guys in different positions and, and try to evaluate them. And uh, once we get to shoulder pads where we can actually you know do some things that you're going to be doing in ball games, then we'll get a clearer picture of uh, what direction we want to go, but uh, he'll get a chance to work both inside and outside.